from North Carolina. We're doing a kiln opening this morning. And I hope we got some pretty stuff. And it's looking pretty good from here. Ooh. Okay, the one thing that I need to come out right this morning is this because it's a present for someone. And we got a couple of cracks in the bottom, and I'm going to hope they didn't go all the way through. The glaze is pretty thick in there, so I don't think it did. But I like it. Do you girls like it? Okay. All right. That was um, a light chino with spring green on it. This is coyote black with coyote matte alabaster on the top. And that coyote black ran, and I didn't put any kiln paper in there because I thought that it wouldn't run. And I got it on too thick, and it ran, and I chipped the bottom. Oh, I see what I did. I didn't wax the bottom. I had not thought that coyote black would run, and I must have missed waxing the bottom on that one, and I didn't catch it and wash it off. Oh, This is another gift for someone, and this is the light chino with uh, coyote black and um, light chino on the inside. And this is for a doctor friend of mine, so I think Lush. he'll like that. Lush. Shh, baby, let me get this done. This is a little turtle mug that I made Lush. for uh, uh, another little friend, and I think he'll like that. It's just light chino and dark chino. Lush. Moxie, just a minute, honey. This is another vase with light chino and dark chino, just all the way through. I uh, dipped it, I believe, completely in the dark chino first, or up to here, and then the light chino. This is the new coral um, satin that I got with uh, alabaster. No, that's chino. That's light chino on the top of it. And it's a matte with a shine, and I'm not sure I like it. I, I, want the, I want to do these two colors together, the alabaster and the coral. And that's what I did here on this little olive oil container. And I think that's just the colors I'm looking for for fall. And this turned out really cute. This is a um, forest green satin with chino over the top of it. And that's kind of a cute combination. This is the forest chino with hazelnut and then some uh, satin black. These are all satins. And I like that combination. I brushed on the middle part here, and I think I'm liking that look better than this look with the mat, but I need to get my line a little better. I may have to wax it. This is the alabaster and the coral together with a little bit of chino dripped over the top, the light chino. And I wasn't planning that, but I put the light chino on the inside, and of course I got a big old drip, so I just dripped some all around. It's kind of cute like that. <sighs> this is uh, coral and the hazelnut, and again I got a few drips of the light chino there because I put light chino on the inside. This is my second attempt at our plates, and I like that much better than the first attempt, which I don't, I, my sprayer was not working correctly, and I came out with this, 
so can I hold it? I like the light colors much better. And I like that. That looks pretty cute. And then we did the back with this is coyote mint and this is again light and dark chino. Do you like that, Steven? Yes. This I really like now. That is light chino with the coral just kind of splayed in there a little bit. And I made these as little side serving dishes as an afterthought. It was just a slab that I cut the ends and folded them over their cell. One more shelf load. a little serving tray to eat, serving dish to eat out of. Yeah, right. And I made a couple of different sizes because I was trying to decide which, which um, size I liked best. What's on the very bottom? Nothing. Stand back, honey. This, this is hot. Oh, that's good. This is a little soap dish I made and I forgot to